welcome back ladies and welcome to another episode of the cottage diaries today i am going to be focusing on just putting the dishes away from you know all the dishes that there were last night and just getting the kitchen in order i'm still focusing on the everyday tasks that i need to do but the most important thing that i want to get done today is the baseboards and just the flooring because I have the pest control guy coming today and so in order for me to feel good about the floors and not to feel like I need to clean them right away tomorrow's normally the day that I would be focusing on the floors but we are going to be gone the entire day tomorrow we are going to be traveling to Utah so it's actually a really good time just to get the floors done and then he's supposed to be here in a couple of hours or well I mean they give give me a window of time for when he's going to be here but the earliest will be in a couple of hours so I just want to get that done first and foremost just putting things away in the kitchen and then I can focus on that I'm going to start in this back room over here in uh, what is now the den um, I want to do a deep cleaning of this space it actually needs a lot more cleaning than most spaces within the home well I take that back not the bathroom for instance but it just needs a good cleaning frequently because of the dogs being in there so I just find myself cleaning this space often and especially because there are still accidents here and there um, but anyway that is something that I will focus on oh and then later on I did want to share some of those items that I found at Michael's and I also have a mini makeover or just a closet refresh that I did over at my friend Jessica's house earlier this week and so I just wanted to show you kind of the before and after and also just my thought process and what I was doing here and just how I was able to help her with that. So a lot planned today, but first and foremost, let's get these clean dishes put away. As many of you know, I like to frequent Ross and I just recently found these dish towels there. They're so pretty. They kind of have a similar look to you know what I have in the kitchen already, but they just caught my eye, so I thought that I would share that with you. Thank you. 
I just want to show you what we're dealing with here. So this is a baby scorpion. That's a little teaspoon that I have. And that is how small that is. So I just found that near the dog bed. And this is a big problem that we have been having for a couple of years now. So hopefully, um, I mean, at least it's dead, but we, we did just find a, a live one yesterday. And I actually think that it stung um, Fawn because she was acting really weird or like she had, like there was some, either her leg was asleep or something yesterday. So anyway, um, I'm really glad that they're coming today. So I started over here in the corner. I just found that scorpion right over here. And like I said, he was dead, but um, cleaning the doggy door is a really great thing to do just because their noses touch it all the time. So it just, it gets gunk on there so often. So um, it needs a good cleaning every now and then. I like to disinfect it. Um, but I'm going to just continue cleaning around here and I think I'm going to pull this out as well and just get back there. I mean, whenever something, you know, whenever I'm going to be having them spray inside, it's a good time to do that anyway. But, um, and a lot of these spaces, like I said, I clean them frequently. So the baseboards aren't really bad because whenever I clean the floors in here, it's such a small space. So I just do it by hand. And um, unless I'm, of course, just doing the um, tra high, high traffic areas, but um, whenever I have the wash rag out, I just do so much of it anyway, especially the parts that I can see. So I'm just going to finish going around here and finishing the floors.
well, he just left. So he got here a little earlier than I had expected. So I only got to vacuum, but I mean, that's fine. No big deal. You're not gonna see me complain that I don't have to mop the floors for the next week. So anyway, my husband just called me. He said that now is a perfect time to go and get the car, the car's oil changed. So um, it's almost time for me to register my car as well. But this month it's like, I need to get the oil changed, need to register the car and probably fill up on gas. And I'm going to do that today before our road trip. So um, it's really not the best time, even though it is the best time because it is in the heat of the day, which I said, oh yeah, I'm sure. Right now is the perfect time to go in there. And um, with the, I go to Valvoline, so you just, you know, sit in the car and they do it. But um, my AC just doesn't work as well as some cars. So there is that. But anyway, he said that it's the best time to go because there's not going to be a long line. So of course there won't be a long line. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I thought that I would share a few things about what I um, purchased from Michael's. But I think that I'll wait until I get home to do that. What a day. And I am now back from getting an oil change. It was very hot and it took them so long to get that done. I always go there. It's like I'm in and out of there. This time it was much different. So that's okay though because it's done. And now I am good for another three months, maybe longer. Anyway, I wanted to share with you some things that I found from the French Manor line at Michael's. Last week, I gave you an, just a glance at, you know, what they have in store right now. And so I wanted to share the three items that I decided to purchase from the newest French Manor line. And um, last year, and I think it was the year before, unless it was just all year long, they had a French Chateau line. And I just loved it. There were so many different pieces that I purchased from it. So anyway, I chose three different things. These are not going to be the only things I would think that I would get from there. But I just thought, you know, I was going to allow myself to get three things at first. And then I really wanted to wait for their sales. So anyway, the first thing that I was so excited about was this atomizer. And you do not have to use an atomizer just for perfume. So this is not perfume. I put some makeup setting spray in it. So that's what's in here. It's just one that I found from Ross and um, I just like the idea of having something beautiful setting on my dressing table and on the tray. And I am just really big about, um, you know, just the way things are packaged or, I mean, the packaging, the bottle of the setting spray was pretty enough because it was blush in color, but um, I just think that this is so much better than what it was in. So I, poured as much as I could in here and then the rest I'm just um, saving until this is all gone but um, that's something that you could do thinking outside of the jar or the box or the bottle that's something that you could do so if you are going to get one of these or if you do have one of these and you use it for anything other than perfume please let me know in the comments below they also had this in a blue and I definitely want to get the blue one too and my thoughts for that one was that it would be something I would pour my um, eucalyptus shower spray in and just be able to use it when I take a shower. So um, now that they have it on sale, that, that whole line's on sale for, I believe it's 40% off right now. So I wanted to go back and get the blue one. But the next thing I got with it was this beautiful pedestal for, you can put flowers in it. 
I really like something solid like this for faux florals. So right now I have this one on my nightstand, which I would like to eventually just change out to something solid. And I actually have a pink one that I need to use, that I need to get. So that one's iridescent and you can't really see through it. So that is, I don't know why I have this one in here, but that's the one that I want to go with if it's going to be on my nightstand, just because you can see that there's not any water in there. So anyway, I just really liked this one, the gold tone to it. And um, I just think that it's a lovely addition. The next beautiful addition is this hat box. So this is a blue, very light powder blue background with floral and I think they called it like a lace, I think it's French lace um, hat box or something like that. But I just love boxes and this is perfect for my wardrobe and especially for storing hats in. So this size hat fits in this box nicely. It kind of, the sides kind of curled downward, but um, you know, it's big enough to fit it in here. And the other thing I have in here right now is my faux suede um, trench coat because I'm not using that, but it's just a nice place to put it until I do. And so anyway, it's a wonderful size and it's so beautiful. And I'm even thinking of getting possibly two more. I just love it so much and it's great for storage. So they have a couple of other ones that, um, you know, hat boxes, I think they're in different sizes. There's definitely one that's bigger that I considered getting, but it also has words on it and I'm not, even though they're, you know, French words or French writing, I would not necessarily, I'm not drawn to things with words on it. They have this beautiful sign that says delight in the little things, but again, I just, I don't know. It's all the words. It's like, it's all speaking to you and screaming at you um, within your home. And I don't know, it's a little unsettling to me. So if I did have it though, it might be something that I would put in the laundry room, but it's just a thought at this point. So anyway, they have some other lovely things that I'm just waiting on, um, you know, just sitting, sitting with it for a while, considering if I really do want it or not. I thought that they're like their ceramic um, jewelry boxes and just trinket boxes. I thought that they were so cute and beautiful. And so I'm just considering, I'm thinking about it. They, you know, when there are so many different things that you love about a style, it's hard to decide, but you do want to be very choosy about it because it would just be easy to fill our homes with a lot of unnecessary things. So anyway, I wanted to talk to you about going over to my friend Jessica's house. She just invited me over there recently. And when she came over to um, come over for brunch one day, she helped me with recovering my chairs. And so we were going to do kind of a, an exchange of sorts. She was going to help me with that and then I would help her with something. And so she said that I could help her with organizing a closet. So she decided on her walk-in closet and she shares this walk-in closet with her husband. And um, I've, I've seen her closet a few times, you know, and she's had it arranged in different ways. And so one of the main things that I was going to help her with was just to make it a little bit more visually appealing and kind of a little bit more relaxing when she walked into it, not so overwhelming. So she is great at accessorizing. She loves accessories. And so she also likes to have those things displayed because for her, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And we just wanted to make things functional for her, but to also have a peaceful look to it. 
So there were a couple of different things that I did. Of course, I go in there and just arrange things by color. And I started with white on the left. And she also had this floor length mirror in there. And I thought that having the white closest to that mirror would have was perfect just because it, it didn't offer a lot of visual clutter right, you know, with whatever was up against the mirror. And then she has a tall dresser in the middle. And then on the right side of that, she had all of her blouses as well as her swimsuits at the bottom. So she had two rows over there. Now, the thing that I suggested to her was that we take the swimsuits out of there because she also has this beautiful wardrobe within her room. And at the time, she was storing her workout clothes in there and her pajamas in there. So since she said she really wasn't using her, her workout clothes at the moment, um, I thought, you know, we could bring her swimsuits over there because she was using her swimsuits a lot. So that would be something that, you know, she could just have right in there. And then it would take away a lot more visual clutter that was in the closet itself and especially near the bottom, she would be able to put a couple of um, her bins down there. I noticed she had a lot of hangers that didn't have anything on them. So I suggested taking the hangers off and putting them in one of the bins. And then as you know, she had things to hang up with those, she could then use those hangers. But anytime that she would take something off, it's just to me, it, unless you have, a lot of breathing room within your wardrobe it's just better or your closet it's just better to take the hanger off in my opinion because then you're not searching for those especially if your hangers are very close together so taking those off would be very uh, just an easy change to make and offer you more space in general and then the other thing was to take a couple of bins off the top. I think she was housing oh, her makeup bags, like travel bags in there. And then also, what, was, what else was in there? Maybe it was scarves in there. So what we ended up doing were, was we put the scarves in one of her big bags. And then we also put um, the travel bags and makeup bags in another big purse. So those are easy enough, I feel, to take out if you are going to be using those purses. And at the same time, it keeps them propped up nicely. And uh, we were able to give all of her purses a lot more space on the shelf. And I turned them in such a way that it was kind of catty corner so that um, you would be able to see more of the front of them and they weren't just side by side up there. And then we, of course, scooted them all the way down. And uh, I just think that it turned out really great. We ended up folding her workout clothes and putting them in uh, a couple of the bins that she had. And then uh, we just put those at the base inside of the wardrobe. So it really didn't take much to just bring about a little bit more peace in that space and to make it feel a lot um, like the space was being better used and that's what she texted me um you know the next day was just that it was just so nice to walk in there she just felt more at peace in that space so that really makes me happy that i was able to do that for her um, i know that she helped me bring a lot more peace into my home by changing out those um, chair covers and it's just nice to be able to have that with a friend, you know, being able to exchange services basically. And, um, but she does a wonderful job within her home. I would love to just be able to share with you all different things about her home that I just love. Um, she also set a wonderful table for us and I'm kicking myself now that I didn't get a little shot of that before. She just displays things beautifully. She mixes patterns and it's just so pretty whenever she has me over. I really enjoy it. So um, a big thank you to Jessica for that, but also uh, just, it was so nice to be able to do that with her. And I just love 
organizing closets, I do. So if you need your closet organized now. <laughs> um, I, I could see myself doing that though, just going to you know help another lady of the house with her closet or with her wardrobe because I just enjoy it so much. Or setting up her dressing table or something. I see it as a thing, something that I might do in the future. But anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you today. So I really hope that you enjoyed spending the day with me. And, you know, we set out to do all of these different things, but we get done what we can. And you can always just step back and feel good about that, even if there were you weren't able to check every single little thing off your list. I wasn't able to check every little thing off my list today, but it all worked out anyway. So I actually wrote about that recently over on Patreon. And if you're not a patron, I do want to encourage you to become one. I share extra diaries over there and um, just, you know, different things here and there going on uh, with my life and uh, just different thoughts and especially newsletters. I try to get a newsletter out every week, which by the way, that's one more thing I need to do today. I need to write that out and get it sent over to my editor. So thank you so much for being here with me today and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Mm -hmm.